subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi i'm dr sanjeev p sahani presenting to you a new episode of chips infotainment Today we will be talking about cognitive biases. Cognitive bias is a tendency by the human brain to perceive information through a filter of personal experience and preferences. It is a coping mechanism by the brain to prioritize and process the vast amount of information it receives. It is an effective mechanism but it can cause errors to persist in the long Run. There are many common cognitive biases that can lead to bad decision making. The confirmation bias is based on the finding that most people tend to listen more often to information that confirms the beliefs they already have. For example, imagine that a person holds a belief that left-handed people are more creative than right-handed people. Whenever this person encounters a person that is both left-handed and creative, they place greater importance on this evidence that supports what they already believe. The hindsight bias is a common cognitive bias that involves the tendency of people to see events, even random ones, as more predictable than they are. The tendency to look back on events and believe that we knew it all along is largely prevalent. Following exams, students often look back on questions and think, of course, I knew that, even though they missed it the first time around. It is the tendency to be overly influenced by the first piece of information that we hear. For example, the first number voiced during a price negotiation typically becomes the anchoring point from which all further negotiations are based. This tendency for our initial impression of a person to influence what we think of them overall is known as the halo effect. For example, have you found that you are more drawn to a product or service because your favorite celebrity endorses it? Your positive feelings about that celebrity can make you perceive everything that celebrity associates with as positive too. The actor-observer bias is best explained as a tendency to attribute other people's behavior to internal causes while attributing our own actions to external causes. For example, you trip and fall on the street. You immediately blame the uneven pavement or attribute to some other situational condition like your shoelace was untied. However, if you see a random stranger fall on the street, you will just call him clumsy. It is the tendency to give oneself credit for successes but lay the blame for failures on outside causes. For example, when you do well on a project, you probably assume that it is because you worked hard. But when things turn out badly, you are more likely to blame it on circumstances or bad luck. This tendency to estimate the probability of something happening based on how many examples readily come to mind is known as the availability heuristic. Smokers who have never known someone to die of a smoking-related illness might underestimate the health risks of smoking. We tend to be too optimistic for our own good. 
we overestimate the likelihood that good things will happen to us while underestimating the probability that negative events will impact our lives. For example, we assume that events like divorce, job loss, illness, and death happens to other people only. This refers to the tendency to give more attention and weight to negative news than to the positive ones. Although crimes, wars, violence and other injustices have decreased significantly compared to the past, many people keep believing that things are getting worse and worse. It is the tendency to overestimate one's abilities with respect to the actual performance or to the other's performance. For example, a person who thinks his sense of direction is much better than it actually is could show his overconfidence by going on a long trip without a map and refusing to ask for directions if he gets lost along the way. So that's it in this video. Stay tuned to our next episodes.